free fall is a special type of kinematic problems involving constant acceleration. Before proceeding, it is recommended that you review the kinematic equations for constant acceleration in one dimension. Free fall in physics is defined as the motion of an object under the force of gravity only. Because velocity and acceleration are vectors, you must draw a diagram and set up a coordinate system. For free fall problems, it is traditional to designate positive y upward. This means that the acceleration is going to have a negative sign. Near the surface of the Earth, the gravitational field is assumed to be uniform with a value of 9.8 meters per second squared. In free fall, we also neglect the influence of air resistance. It is important to understand the difference between the behavior of velocity and acceleration in free fall. Whether at the beginning max height or end of the trajectory, the acceleration still points downward with a constant magnitude. It is velocity that changes throughout the trajectory. At the beginning, depending on initial conditions, it may have a positive value, meaning moving upward. At maximum height, it will have a vertical velocity of zero. And then at the end of the trajectory, it will have a negative velocity, meaning downwards. It is useful to visualize this motion. If the initial velocity is upward, then the object will move upward but slows down. It will reach maximum height by definition when the vertical velocity is zero. After which, the object will pick up speed and become faster and faster on the way down. Deriving the free fall equations is simple. You start with the one dimensional kinematic equations for constant acceleration. You switch them to y coordinates. Finally, you plug in 
for vertical acceleration. Keep in mind that the negative sign will only gain meaning once you had set up your coordinate system. Once you had drawn the picture, set up the coordinate system, and laid out the equations, you are ready to solve freefall problems. These will be covered in another video, but generally include questions such as What is the maximum height reached? What is the total time in the air? And what will be the final velocity right before the object hits the ground?